super excited to be bringing this strength workout your way. Let's talk about what equipment you need. I've got some 15 pounds and some 10 pounds. So something a little heavier and then something more moderate to heavy so that you can challenge that whole body accordingly. My name's Danica. I'm so excited to be working out with you. Let's start with a wee little warm up here. Go ahead and just forward fold, keep those legs long, reach down towards that floor. Taking your time here, then reaching up towards that ceiling. Inhale, on the way up. Exhale, through your mouth, on the way down. Maybe you sink a little lower each time. So maybe initially you're only coming down halfway to your chin. So maybe on that next round you can come all the way down to that floor, stretching through those hamstrings. Last one, forward fold this way, stay here, halfway hinge, open up those arms. Open and close, fly. Arms are strong, little squeeze through the back here. Eight, seven, six, looking good, here's five, four, three, we add on, two, one. Take that right leg, step it forward, and now hold. Hinge at those hips, come on down, Add another fly. Step it back up, left leg. Steps forward, strike with that heel. Forward fold. Fly. You move here through these movements. Alternating legs and that big fly. How are we feeling? Starting to warm up. One more each side. Let's go. Down. Fly. Back on up. Strike. Hinge. There's that fly. Now take your right leg behind you, arms out in front of you. Big reach as you step out of a pull. Pull left leg. Right, left. Now if you have knee issues, you're not gonna come down quite as far here. Otherwise, let that back knee almost touch the ground. Four, three, Two, one, stand it up, take those legs nice and wide, sink into a nice wide squat, reach up towards that ceiling. Down, get up, get low, get tall. Sinking and standing, knees stay out that whole time. Let's grow this move. Sink, now take your right arm, reach. Sink, left arm, reach. Down, overhead. Ah. Start to feel good through that body. Here's four, three, two, one. Reach across your body, right, left. Turn those hips from wall to wall. Right, left. Nice, spinal rotation here. Push through that palm. Four, three, two, right arm. Just give me a hook. Hook, hook. Little toe tap here. So there's a little glute activation. Stick with those hooks, nice and wide. Lubricating those shoulder joints. Reach overhead now, come on. Right and left, right and left. Big arms, core tight. You got it, here's four. Now three, just two, and one. Fantastic, few shoulder rolls here. Take that right arm, reach it down towards that floor. Bring everything back up. Left arm reaches down to the floor. Bring it up one more each side. Let your eyes trace up your arm as it lifts towards that ceiling. Stand it up. A little warmer now. We're ready to dive in. Let's start with a big muscle group. So grab some heavy weights. We're going to challenge our backs here. Hinging at the hips. We're coming in to this hinge grip. Arms are just hanging. We've got an underhand row. Palms up towards that ceiling. Here we go. Big pull. Let the rest of your body stay still here. That's it. Arms stay nice and close. Core stays tight. How are you feeling? Starting to wake up these arms, starting to wake up this back. Practice squeezing that spine. Shoulders retract, they come towards one another. 
Good. Four. Three, we're gonna dive into some legs. Two, one. Fantastic, take those heavy weights. Load them up to your shoulders. Now, if this feels a little excessively heavy for you this morning, no problem. Ditch one weight, ditch both weights. You can always pull that weight right at your chest. If you wanna go one, we're gonna come into a nice, wide sumo squat. You're gonna come down for two and up for two. Then do it again, weights in those heels. There it is, sinking, standing. Now we can play with this. All sorts of different variables we can play with. What if you pop just your right heel off that floor and kept with that sink and stand? What's the feedback there that your body's giving you? Maybe a little bit more core engagement. That asymmetry might challenge your glutes a little differently. When you're ready, let's switch up those legs, pop that left heel off the floor, and keep rising and lowering. Do you find it a little harder to stay on your planted heel? Be mindful of that. Keep that chest tall. Those weights are just adding to your load here. We're not challenging the arms per se, we're focusing on that lower half. Now we got a full body move next. In three, two, one. Fantastic, plant that heel. These weights now are gonna come to the floor, but don't get comfy. We're looking for a little bit more mobility. A few more muscles added to the mix. No more isolating top half, bottom half. When you're ready, come on down. You can always drop to your knees. We've got a row. Plank, row, but wait, there's more. Drop into a push-up. Come on down. Remember, we can come to our knees if needed. Then, step it forward. You can stand or you can jump. If you want to add something even spicier, you can even add a tuck jump at the top. We know the move now? Fantastic. Come into plank. Let's go. We row. Hips stay nice and still. We come into a push-up. We can jump it up. We can literally jump it up. Then we do it again. Looking for full range of motion here. A lot of muscles incorporated into one move. An opportunity to get stronger here. An opportunity to raise our heart rates. An opportunity to get stronger. Who doesn't want that? Keep it up. You'll feel your hips wanting to open up as you row. Fight that. Keep them still. A broader stance can help with that. Taking our time. We're so accustomed to thinking we need to move fast for it to be effective. Think of time under tension here. Let's get one more. Full round in, wherever you are. Get it here. Ready to do it one more time? One more time. Through all those moves. Grab a drink if you need it. Then grab those heavy weights. We got it, crew. This time might be a little harder and that these muscles are a bit more fatigued. Or it might be a little easier because you know what's coming. Shoulders back, hands to those hips. Let's row. Underhand row. I love an underhand row because it challenges our back. Sure. There's also that core engagement to keep us stable. But then as you'll notice, when you slowly descend with those weights, now you've got some bicep and forearm helping too. I love moves where you get a lot of bang for your buck. You might know this about me. I got four kids. 
<sighs> Life's busy. If I'm gonna get in a workout, it needs to be effective. I wanna hit as many muscle groups as possible. Four more. Oh, we got it, come on, it's just getting good. You just got to the good part, two more. Last one. Ha! Yeah, yeah. All right, loading up those shoulders. Remember, you can always ditch the weights entirely or hold just one weight right at your chest, like a little goblet. Ready, take it wide. Maybe even a little wider. Weights in your heels, good. Sink that tailbone down towards that floor and drive back up. Sinking our tailbones, standing, squeezing through our glutes. Lower. Come on, could you drop an inch more? Think about, the move doesn't start till you drop that extra inch. That's where the money lives. That's where the change is hiding. That's where success goes and hides so that most people never achieve it. But we're gonna get that last, last little inch right here. There it is, come on. Remember, we can play with this. We can keep both of our heels planted, or we could lift one, our right heel, off the floor, and then play with that bit, a bit. Right. Just that little change, just that slightly asymmetrical stance. Ah, and we start to hit those hip abductors a little differently, those glutes a little differently, keep that posture tall. Last one on this side. We can stay with both feet planted or we pop that left heel off the floor. Remember our extra inch. You can pick it up if you like or stay steady and slow. Both are gonna finish that race. Squeeze through your glutes to the top. Here we go. Five. Get low. Four. Come on, we got it. Here comes three. Yeehaw. And two. Last one. Woo! Walk those legs in. Set those weights down. We're playing now. We know what we're doing now, right? We've got our rope. We've got our push-up. We've got our jump or step. If you want to add an extra jump, you know what to do. Get into position. Ready, steady. Let's move. Nice plank here. And sink. This is where we hit the full body though. Tuck jumps, squat jumps. Maybe it's just a reach releve up onto those toes. Fine, fine. Make this move yours because at the end of the day, this is your body, right? You get to live with this body. So you should get to decide how you move it. Now, if you've been paying attention, I've done a few moves out of order. That's okay, right? As long as we get it. One more, full. Full range motion. Almost there. Ready, ready, we're moving on. Yes, yes. All right, let us get some upper body to focus on to start with. Um, yeah, stay with the heavy. Did you see me? I was grabbing towards my lighters. Let's stick with biceps. Biceps are strong, we won't be here long, so grab something big. Okay, okay. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We've got a reverse grip 
bicep curl. So, palms are gonna be down as we come on up to those shoulders. Now, we're already here, let's stay here. Drive. Try it again, lower down. Bring them up. Whoa! Drive. Those lighter weights are there. Should you need them, but I think, I think we can rock out these reps together right here. Practice that control. Are you arching your back too much through that press? As you focus on driving your heels down, almost into the floor, that will help with your posture. Oh, ho, ho. There's getting spicy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stick with those heavies, if you please. Weights are gonna be at your side here. Take your right leg, step it behind you. Right leg steps behind you in a curtsy lunge. Sink down into that lunge. Bring it up. Now wait. Take that same leg. Take it out to the side. Got the move? Good. Go to work. It's a curtsy. And it's a lateral. So, hit the outside glutes. Hit the inside. Hit that doctor's right there. Ah. Ditch your weight if you need to. Ditch them both if you need to. Control here. Control here. Name of the game. But what if we wanted to play? What if we pulsed in that curtsy? Pulse, pulse, pulse. What if we stood and pulsed in that lunge? Here we go. Deep, deep up. Good. Do it again. Step it up. Here's that curtsy. Pulse for four. Three, two, one. Take a lateral. Four, three, two, one. One more time. Let's go. Ha! You got it, Kurt. Let's go. Beautifully done. Now, trying to make it full body. How are we going to make it full body? Glad you asked. We're going to sink into a squat. We are going to give ourselves a little bicep curl at the bottom before jumping it back into a plank. Sure. Why not? Big toes in, sure. Could you stay with those heavy? Love to see you can stay with those heavy because we won't be here long. So, drop that tailbone towards the floor beneath you. Elbows are right inside your knees. Bicep curl right here. Drop those weights, jump it back. Beautiful, jump it forward, do it again. Bicep curl, jump it back, jump it in. Now if we want to take out that hop, we can always step it back. We got options, step it forward. Have you joined me or are you still watching me quote unquote demo? Demo's done, get to work crew. Sinking this deep into that lunge challenges our hip flexors. Keep the weight in your heels and your bum tucked. I told you, we won't be here long. Let's get four more in. Wherever you are, get those four all the way up to those shoulders. Your bicep curls come all the way up. Two more. Slow it down if you need to. Alternate your arms if you need to. Take out the hop if you need to. Woo! Sorry, sorry, focus. Focus. How are you feeling? You ready to run through that all again? Woo! We got this. So, some heavy weights. Yes? Good. There's that underhand. No, it's an overhand. Sorry, overhand is a reverse bicep curl. Ready. Here we go. Palms down. All the way up. This might surprise you, but I'm working out from home. 
which means I have little kids all around me. So don't mind me when I say little kid, you are not allowed on that Nintendo Switch until your room is clean. You thought I only bossed you around. I boss everybody around. All right, bye buddy. Old me, beginning of quarantine. I'm like, well, I better stop the video. Better edit this out. Keep things professional. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Surprise. I got kids. Come on. We got four more. These final reps should be hard to complete. If you picked the right weights, these final reps should be challenging your upper body here. Core stays tight. Soft bend to those knees. Our last one right here. Hallelujah, right? All the way up. Drive. Down with control. Now what's fun is our forearms are challenged right now. And they get to hold those weights at our side, which means even your upper body right now does not get a complete recovery, right? Isn't that fun? Okay, weights at your side. Left leg steps behind you in that curtsy lunge. Take it out. Now take it wide. Arms come in for that lunge. Feel the difference? Sink a little deeper. Both pieces of that puzzle. Take that heel a little further to that corner of the room. Here we go. Come on. We've been here before. We know what we're doing now. In fact, you might remember, we're about to add a pulse. Meet you in that curtsy. Let's pulse our curtsy. Four, three, two, one. Take it wide. Pulse it here. Oh, sink a little deeper. Ha, ah, do it again. Take it wide. How are you feeling? So good, right? That's it, keep that chest nice and tall. Our final round right here. Beautiful, take it wide. Woo! Push the weights. Down to the floor we come. Oh yeah, you remember this one now, don't you? Sure you do, sure you do. All right, if this bothers your knees, of course you can stand and do a bicep curl here, and then sink to that floor for that little plank. Options we got. Always options. Always ways to keep moving. Ready, friends? Without further ado. What? It's like I was procrastinating doing this move, eh? Let's go. Sink. Curl. We're curling all the way up to our shoulders here. Before jumping it back into our nice, neutral plank. So let's not keep those booties lifted or sink too deeply here. Right, nice neutral spine. Jump it in and we curl again. You get to fit as many reps in as you can. Don't feel like you need to keep moving in unison with the music or even with me. We got four more to do. Our last one, if I count it properly. How are we feeling? All right, let's make our way down to that floor. I say we earned it. Grab a little lighter weight here. Slightly smaller muscle group. So, little shoulder, little tricep coming at us. Go ahead and lay on your back side. Now those weights are going to come into a slow crusher position, meaning we hold on to those weights, and we're just going to bring them to our temples here, then lift up. Now here's where things get 
interesting. Rather than coming to that same position, this time weights come together, bring them overhead, so we're challenging our lats and shoulders and traps. Capiche? So here's that hinge, 90 degree angle. Weights come together. Here they come overhead. Let's play. Go to work. This is like a mental Sudoku, huh? Challenging your triceps and your brain. Brain and brawn. Here's where your arm hinges at the elbow. Here's where your arm only has a natural bend to that elbow but stays long. Keep your lower back glued to your mat or floor. Could you move faster? I'm sure. Is it necessary? It's not. We will still challenge these muscles plenty at this pace, at this tempo. How are we feeling? Making sure our core stay engaged the whole time. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. We're already here on the floor. Let's stay on the floor. I don't feel like that'll bother you too much. Take one weight or no weight. So you've got options here. We're bringing that weight behind our top knee. So we're sitting off to the side here. And we're going to make sure that our forearm is planted on the floor and our shoulder is stacked just above our elbow, okay? So first and foremost, we practice good form. Now we can talk about this move. Option one, we can always just lift that knee up away from our opposite knee. But for even more core and glute engagement, we're going to lift that whole hip off of the floor beneath us. So now we're coming up and lowering down. Join me, let's go. Lift and lower with control. Up, down, now I'm giving you these little resets here. The less time you spend resting on that floor, the better. Right into the next one. It's like, oh, honey, I'm home and I'm leaving again. You've got a free hand. That hand can be your accountability checker. How's your core? What's it doing? Four. Lift. Three. Drive up towards that ceiling. Two. Yeah, that's getting spicy. Last one. Ah. Well done. Now, we are going to stick. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I kind of want to go with a heavier weight. Yeah, let's go heavier weight. I'm gonna say, well, let's stick to the heavier weight. Here's why. Another full body opportunity to challenge us. We did one of my favorite moves. We've done this together before. We're gonna now. So, a reverse plank is the number one plank that you should be doing that you're probably not doing. Okay, so, first and foremost, we're gonna come into a reverse plank position. Let's talk about what muscles are activated. Our glutes are squeezed, our shoulders are dropped but engaged, and our triceps are helping raise us. Fun, all right. We're gonna drop to our booties. We're gonna draw those knees in and bicep curl here. Okay, so now we got core engagement, and then we'll drive right back into it, bouncing back and forth between those two moves. So if you're ready, that's enough rest, let's go. Here's your reverse plank. Now, if we need to set your heels down for that bicep curl, fine. If you want to go one knee at a time, fine. Let's go. Core, glutes, arms. Love it. It's another one of those buy one, get one. Fire it up. Now I know these are some challenging weights for those biceps. What am I gonna say? We won't be here long. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I mean, come on. Come on. 
come on. We're hanging in there. Let's do it one more time. So I'm gonna set my heavy weights off just to the side. I'm gonna grab the lighter of the two so I can focus on shoulders and triceps. Let's lay back on our mats before we start anything. Before we lift those weights, core check. Pull that navel of yours back towards your mat. Good. Engage that core like I was gonna come around and drop a dumbbell right on your core. You go, oh, you brace differently. Oh, look at that, your core's engaged. Now we're ready. Let's go. Skull crusher. Bring them up. Weights together. Overhead. Do it again. Now, who am I to tell you how to live your life? Nobody. I'm nobody, but if you wanted to play a little bit and come up into a glute bridge, you could also do this whole move in a glute bridge position. You're like, you don't know me. You don't know my body, my goals. You're right, I don't. So you decide what feels best and most challenging for you today. I love it because I've heard it lately described as a buffet. So I'll give lots of options, great options, appetizing options, but then you get to decide how you fill your plate. You get to pick and choose how to make this your best meal or your best workout. We're almost there, crew. Eight, seven, six, five, here comes four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna see it through, it's what I do. Lower my glutes down, lowering those weights down. Oh, you like you, we've got the other side to do. Remember, I gave you the option. You don't have to use a weight here behind your top knee. No problem, you'll still get plenty. Before anything, where's your forearm? Where's your shoulder in relation to that elbow? Good, we're in position. Fantastic. Setting that weight, squeezing between my thigh and my calf. I'm lifted up, let's go. Up and down. Reducing our time on that floor in between. There it is. Now we're getting somewhere. Up and down, adjust as needed. If you start to find your arm and standing out in front of you, that's gonna put unnecessary strain on your joint. So correct it before moving on. We get four more. Four. Woo. Three. Two. Love that core engagement here. Last one. Fantastic. We've got our reverse lunges. No. Bicep curls. I'm going with my heavier weights. What are you gonna use? Your workout. Your body. Your excuses. Your reasons. Your goals. So, in position we come. Arms are slightly behind you here. Ready. Steady. Hold that reverse plank for a moment. Beautiful. Got all the muscles engaged? Permission to move on. Let's go to work, come on. Driving your knees towards your chest. There is where we activate that core. You can make as many angry sounds or grunts as you need to. Yeah, yeah, we're out of something. Let's see it through. Eight. Seven. Yes. Because you're going to get hard. This is six. Five. Come on. To the end. Four more. You tell me you don't got three in you. Agree to disagree. You got it. Your last one. Here. Lower down. Hey. Not a bad little workout for our, how long we've been together? 35 minutes? Hey, not too shabby. Let's stretch just a bit. 
you want to stand up with me, we'll do this standing. I'm going to get my weights out of the way so I don't trip. I'm going to take my legs nice and wide. You do the same here. Toes and knees pointed forward, hinging at those hips, reach down towards that floor. Nice stretch here to the backs of those legs. Good. Wag your invisible tail side to side. Ooh, where are you going to feel that? Do you feel that through your hamstrings here a bit? Super. Come up. Feel yourself standing. Take your right leg. Take it out. Hold this lunge. Hold this lunge. You want to deepen that stretch? Take your left toes. Bring them up towards that ceiling. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Lower those toes. Make sure your toes and knees point that same direction. Little shift here. Turn towards the wall. Pants come down. Drop that back knee to the floor and lift it up. Take your time here. Dropping and lifting. Sinking and rising. Good. Four. Three. Two. Last one. This time, take that knee. Drop to the floor. Keep it there. Take those arms up. Reach towards that ceiling. Now drop your shoulder blades. Woo! Here, squeeze through those shoulder blades like you're coming towards your spine. Then take those arms. Bring them to your backside. Look over that hip, over that shoulder. Awesome. Come back to center. Take your left hand. Set it outside your right foot. Curl your back toes underneath you so we come up into this lunge position. Right arm now opens up towards that ceiling. Hold as you look over that shoulder. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Plant that palm on the floor. Come on up. We're in this lunge. Turn your knees towards me. Hey, friends. Sink now towards that left leg. Here's that deep lunge. There it is, though. That should feel familiar. We've been here before on the opposite side. Option deep in this stretch by bringing your right toes now up towards the ceiling in front of you. All right, let's make sure that all of our toes and knees are facing the same direction before we pivot towards that opposite wall. And just cartwheel down towards that floor. Drop that knee to the floor and rise. A few more of those. Knee kisses the floor. Glutes lift up towards the ceiling. Not too shabby. Last one. Sink that knee to the floor. Take those arms up. Overhead, inhale. Arch to that back. Drop those shoulder blades. Arms come to the goal post. Woo! Hands now come to your backside and hip. Look over that shoulder, twisting at the torso. Look over that hip. Beautiful. Come on, back to center. We're going to take your right hand now, set it on the outside of that left foot. Curl your toes underneath you on that back leg and lift up into this lunge. Left arm opens up towards that ceiling. Just trace up that arm with your eyes. Hand comes back to center. Lift up into this lunge. Face me. Walk those legs in. Arms come out to the side. Few shoulder rolls here. Four, three, two, one. Hands come to center. A few more times. And we're done. You guys did so great. Get some protein. Make sure you stay hydrated. And keep moving with us, Kanima.